Hi. Hi. Oh, excuse me. Could you tell me who lives here? Uh, Grandpa, this man wants to talk to you. Thank you. Hello. Hey, how's can I help you? I'm terribly sorry to disturb your party. And I know this may sound strange, but I'm looking for someone that lived here a long time ago. Marian Benedict. She was my mother. You're Marianne's son? That looks just like you, Grandpa. Honey, why don't you go inside and help Grandma with lunch, okay? Go on. Dad? Uh, no. Well, maybe uh, technically speaking, but... Dad! Uh, no. Dad! <laughs> when? Dad, Dad, it is this is you! This is, a, this is a big surprise. Uh, Dad, this is incredible. I, I mean, I don't I know think what... I we can both use a drink. Why don't, why don't we go inside? Uh, one of my fathers, you, you don't even know what this means to me. Mr. Webster, I hope you're happy with the vehicle we chose for your little journey. When you get near Houston, phone 713-555-0342 and ask for uh, 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 Beetroot McKinley. He will arrange to trade you a briefcase for the merchandise in the trunk. Thank you. Mary Ann Benedict. Though I haven't said that name out loud for over 30 years. Your mother was... Uh, an amazing woman. There are the times I've wondered what would have happened if I'd have married her. Why didn't you? Well, I asked her to. She turned me down. She uh, said she was afraid to have any more children. See, they, they told her you had died at birth. Who told her we died? Mitchell Traven, the guy with the clipboard. He supervised the experiment for the government. He uh, still runs a genetics lab at Los Alamos, New Mexico. I'll have to pay him a visit. Yeah, watch out for him. He's kind of a dickhead, if you know what I mean. Dickhead? No, I don't. But uh, I'm learning. 